All right, let me try to do this without coughing so much. I can't stop coughing. I've been a little bit, a little bit sick. But um, yeah, I've been playing a lot with my computer this this uh, long weekend. So as I run into like little little issues, little problems, I'll uh, share solutions that I've come across. So um, <coughs> excuse me one second. Um, this is the uh, OpenShot open source software that um, you can do a quick dirty video edit if you're a little overwhelmed by uh, by uh, DaVinci Resolve so yeah this this is good for doing simple edits simple video edits um, but I found uh, with the latest version which just came out 3.0.0 it was on I think version 2.61 or 2.62 for a long time and a new version came out, so I'm sure there's fixes under the hood and all that stuff. But since installing the new version, I noticed my uh, preview for playing back things was uh, sped up. And I couldn't find a way to fix it. It was like going about, I don't know, 20% over real-time speed. And uh, how I solved that was I went to my... Uh, to this path right here went to my users folder my username and I deleted the dot open shot underscore QT folder and next time you run the open shot executable it's going to rebuild that folder and whatever whatever was corrupt or set wrong in there will be reset and your preview speed will be back to normal um, just do note that um, if you one thing cool about um, open shot and I'm sure other video editors have this but it has all these uh, profiles that you can uh, export to all these different resolutions and different frame rates and all that stuff you can add your own profile to this list by going to the folder that your open shot is installed in and you go to this profile folder and this is where they all are. They don't have extension names, so if you want to look at one, you got to right-click it and open it with uh, um, Notepad. So let me see. Um, I'll just give you an example. Open with, I'll open this one with Notepad. If I can find it, there we go. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Let me bring it over. All right. So basically, if you want to make your own, you just use one of these as a template. You rename the file to whatever you want. Remember, no extension name. And you just change this as needed. You change the uh, frame rate to what you want it to be. If you want to have some weird resolution for it to export to, you set that to. All this other stuff, since I have only made two, two separate profiles, um, this other stuff you'd have to play with a little bit. I'm not smart enough to know what all this stuff does, but I eventually got it to where I was able to export custom resolutions so <clears throat> the reason why I'm showing you this is because when you delete this folder any profiles that you made might disappear so you might want to back them up so yeah that's all that was very annoying when I did a preview and everybody sounded all mousy and like a chipmunk because it was running fast and I'm like well how am I going to know how this sounds uh for the final, I mean, when you exported it, it was fine, but still, the preview is supposed to be accurate, and that's a way to get it accurate, is uh, if you have any corrupt files in your install, just go ahead and delete this folder, and it'll rebuild it, but then again, remember, you might lose your profile, so you can back them up if you need to. That's all, that's another lame tip from me, everybody have a good day.